Okay, now, girls and boys, it's that time when I get the big players in the house giving you all the latest details on Shibarium, Bone Shiba Swap, and some of the big projects happening on the L2 solution. Guys, I'm telling you, it's a big one. So sit back, enjoy, and I let the big boys take over. Guys, the floor is yours. Live here once again, week 79, She Weekly Recap. Just did an interview here with uh, Shiba Soaps and Scrubs. Big shouts out to everybody out there. Once again, appreciate you all. Uh, I think I made an announcement prematurely, but uh, I will say, <laughs> according to the Telegram, I was breaking news. But uh, what I will say is uh, I am very, very happy to uh, be up here tonight and support uh, the Sheep Dreams Project. Uh, 3,333 uh, handcrafted NFT, hand-drawn NFTs, I should say, handcrafted, hand-drawn NFTs. Uh, beautiful. I, I just can't say enough of, of the giveaway structure. It's it's just been remarkable. I don't know if I'm eligible, but I tried today. I'm looking to win. Don't let me lie. Uh, but no, it's just been really, really exciting. And um, yeah, like I, I said, um, I don't think I've really told anybody about this outside of Telegram, but uh, when I went for the blue check, I had, I had to make a decision to probably keep for a while because I guess the blue check goes away when you change stuff uh, and everything. So I did not go even with my my signature um, uh, NFT. I could have got the NFT thing, but uh, instead I, I, I went with dreams in support of that. So uh, very, very honored to... Um, help out with this project uh, is what I'll say right now uh, with everything and, and appreciate you. Uh, also, uh, all of our other partners here too, once again, uh, Cheggy19, the official artist, She Women, shout out to you. What, uh, WABC Club, I'll just say that tonight. We have Artists and Builders Club. It takes me a second to get my brain together, y'all. She was Soaps and Scrubs, She was Bling, Lads NFTs. Make sure y'all check out also uh, the She Dreams uh, collection at sheevecoop.io, I believe. I don't know the long one for drink. Don't let me lie. Not off the top of my head. But if you go to sheevecoop.io, C O O P, uh, you will find the uh, link there in the menu uh, with everything. It's pretty easy if I can figure it out. There's hope for humanity usually. Uh, also, again, our esteemed colleagues, Crypto Nick OG, uh, Julie the Cat, appreciate you 1 million percent once again, too, as well as Haley High Def. Uh, of course, Shayla and the lads, um, love y'all too. Uh, I don't know what day of the week you're on, but j just be on the lookout Tuesdays or, or Thursdays. I I'll tell y'all that much. Um, this week, I'm not sure what the schedule is. But um, let's see here. Oh, news. Yes. Uh, Sheep the Magazine. 5,000 NFTs. Uh, minted Dream plus other NFTs. I don't remember all the other NFTs. Don't let me lie, but they were featured in Times Square and also uh, in the magazine. So that was pretty cool. Welly friends, lots of stuff this week we'll talk about, but they had an article featured in the Sheet magazine. Uh, first off and foremost, since we're talking about that. Also, uh, an interesting one that kind of carries over from Wednesday. Uh, Italy bans lab grown meat uh, and nod to farmers. Um, also, Mr. Singia. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, but the uh, had made the announcement that the merchandise for Wellies Friends had sold out. Uh, PB5 dropped a 19-point progress update that I thought was pretty cool. Also, uh, two Wellies sauces and beers, or Pilsners. I don't know how they want me to pronounce that, but I'll say both. But they're out now. And then uh, let's see here. Uh, News.sheev.io has its own channel on the Shiberium Accord. Uh, Discord, I should say. Uh, Lucy She also uh, says Shiberium to unveil a key donate feature. I think this was on last week, but I don't even know if I talked about it. So I'm just putting it in there because somebody did have an article this week. But um, yeah, key donate feature I thought was pretty cool. Uh, Shaitashi exposes uh, fake shy and treat tokens. Uh, big shots out to Jolt there. Uh, bad idea. Bad idea AI chatbot system. Uh, this was via a coin market cap article i thought was pretty cool we'll take a dive into that shibicles uh made an announcement that their chips will be active uh next week uh and then i think they also showed an example of that uh, Shib uh shiberium news here mars swap introduces a leash bone pair big shots out to lucy 
Also, Shiberium, uh, the W Bone, uh, I think it was automatically added, but nonetheless, it's on the list for Corn Market Cap now. So you can track that like you can, Bone. It is in my favorites. Big shouts out uh, to Rando on that one. And then uh, Shiberium, 4 million transactions, 1.27 million wallets, 1.7 million blocks. I think this is when they crossed the threshold of 4 million transactions when I announced this. I think it's at like 4.1 some odd. I got to get some updated numbers because I know this was a couple of days ago. But big shots out to over 4 million transactions. And then um, Siberian, speaking of transactions, they did search 29,000 to 43,000 in 24 hours. That was on the 24th. Uh, Puppyscan.sheep.io, 412,000 daily transactions on that. We'll kind of deep dive into that and what that means. Uh, also, a uh, link to new testing. I did put a note there myself. Big shouts out to uh, Alster on those. Uh, and she and Queen, I should say, on one of them, too. And then um, Siberium. Also, uh, this is from Crypto at Crypto AMB. Uh, bone price uh, and how it, it correlates with the transactions. I'll explain a little further there. Uh, Shiberium, a uh, new key donation feature uh, revealed. I thought I had that before. I guess I did put it twice. Um, Bone, uh, the exclusive available DeFi, uh, is in the exclusive available DeFi section of the Binance app. So it's like a swap by, I mean, swap, receive, send type of thing. Not listening on Binance. Let me make that clear, Binance, in case you're listening. I know, but... Uh, According to Lucy, that was on there with the screenshot uh, with that one. So I'm guessing that's correct in my note. Uh, let's see here. Also, um, Bittrade underscore Japan uh, did a recruitment to stocks. Kind of translates different on my translator, but she, she and XRP are featured on this uh, in terms of that one uh, and everything. But I think they just... They kind of did a special one because I'm pretty sure they already had them listed. But big shots out to bust on that one. And then uh, Ringatashi, uh, sorry, Rigashi Toyotsu. Uh, he's pretty known for uh, being, um, I believe, uh, what's the name of it? Uh, gosh, um, the blockchain. You know, Unification. Unification. Yeah, I was thinking about Uno. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's bad. But uh, anyway, uh, Binance uh, does uh, buy bone according to the blockchain data on that one. Big shouts out to the uh, the man, man, stand the man, I should say, uh, goes by Stanimal with the five in front. And then uh, BitPay, uh, they did make a deal uh, to have the ability now to pay off your student loans with sheep plus other cryptos. Big shouts out to the bus uh, with that one too as well. Uh, crypto underscore Dep, Dep with a P, P like Paul, Dep. Uh, she was number four in the top crypto social activity. I think it was only like the heavyweights in front of us, like uh, Bitcoin, ETH, uh, BNB, and then it was us. I'd like to get to that number one spot again. I think we've had it there in the past with them. Uh, always highly ranked there uh, in the social media network. So keep using those dollar signs uh, with she. Keep using those hashtags with she. That kind of picks it up on the radar. Uh, Twitter will pick it up. Just if you just use she, because I've seen that just trend just by itself. Um, but what, what they're looking for tracking wise is usually the dollar signs and the hashtags, just to, to, from my limited experience. Don't quote me on that. I am not their expert, but I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Uh, interesting, as always, into the block and their stats. So 1.26 million she accounts are over zero balance. It's a 14,000.7% increase. Uh, that was from February of this year, just to kind of give you an idea, which isn't bad, but Doge had like 75%, 14,700 uh, versus that in that time period. So big shouts out to Christine on that one. Also into the block, uh, 51 million daily sheep transactions. Volume was up 498%. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, I'll have to go back and read the article again in terms of how that breaks down. I might pull it up. Big shout out to Crypto Queen in the meantime, though. And then uh, she burned. Uh, 28 million she were burned. That was a 47,000% increase of over 24 hours on the 21st. Big shout out to Sheep Spain. Also, uh, today, Mr. Sandman dropped one on us. 130 million she were burned in seven days. That was through the 25th. 
I uh, did want to note that the article did uh, say that that was down about 43%. reason why I say that is because she burned this official week on a seven-day period, uh, which I think he usually counts, or they, I should say, usually calculates through uh, sometime after Saturday after midnight. Usually, I'll just put it like that. Uh, but 49.6 million Sheba burned the 26 transactions this week. Big shout out to the burn captain there, Calvin J. Uh, CZ Binance. Usually we don't talk about world news, but when you are, I'll say at this point, probably the top holder of Sheep in, in the world uh, in terms of Binance. But C, CZ Binance, uh, CZ Binance, I should say, or is it Binance? Well, yeah, I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, don't just look at <laughs> Janet Yellen. <laughs> <laughs> Might be Binance, but Binance. Is what I'll say. Uh, steps down the CEO of of that uh, organization. Big shots out to I'm. A, I just gave this a tie. You know, Hollister hit me with it like an hour or two before it made it to his room on the bus. I was waiting for a little bit more information uh, to read up on, but Hollister did. Uh, Hollister sheet did break that news and, and bus brought it to the thing. So I'm just I'm, I, shout out to you both. How about that, uh, Justin Soon? Uh, the Hiko uh, Bridge. It suffered an $83 million hack, $346 billion, billion sheep were taken during the hack. I think it was worth $27 million and change at the time. Uh, I guess you could say the good news is this happened earlier in the week. They had already converted it into 41,000 um, ETH, and yeah, so whatever the current pricing is, is probably not going to affect what just happened there but uh nonetheless another hack and i think the article did note um that the hack was one of three in the last two months that uh justin soon has uh been in some way shape or form affiliated with the uh the hacked entity just putting that out there uh just reading articles um susbarium safety alert fake websites nft drops uh, there's one going around with a bone thing you can trade in to get some kind of reward in USDC. I think it was like a hundred thousand uh, through Siberium. Twitter has kind of kind of trained me to the spot, you know, especially when it comes to links and sites and things like that. To just pay really close attention, who's sending it, where, you know, there could be a letter misspelled. Sometimes people will use L's versus I's. I mean, it's just all kinds of wild stuff uh, going on out here, y'all. So. Uh, definitely be safe on what you click. You click, go to official sites first, go through their official links, you know, just double, triple check everything. Uh, if it don't feel right, if there's a C phrase involved, it's probably not right. You know, just, just be safe out here, man. Like, yeah, it's, it's, it's the wild, wild west. So again, uh, safety alert there, uh, from such being, uh, now community shout outs. Probably one of my longest lists ever here, but uh, I'm cool with that. Uh, I'll hopefully make them longer. Um, but SheBarmy.co did do an article on Sheba Soaps and Scrubs. But shouts out to them. Shaitashi tells uh, Sheba Soaps <laughs> that they will be in the magazine soon. I thought that was really cool. Uh, the bus, who just came up, uh, is to create an all-new D app for the Shiberium. Uh, also, uh, big shouts out to SRV. Uh, work in progress for a Wellies Texas franchise. That's not according to me. That's according to one of those 19 points I told you about from PB5. And then um, let's see here. Uh, oh, I don't know if she's in here much anymore, but big shouts out to Pazu, love her to death. So at Pazu underscore A underscore Shiv uh, is getting engaged. Congratulations once again, and hope you live happily ever after. Ever after, uh, she was Sparks Energy Drink goes live. I think it was their NFT drop. I'm not sure if it was the drink, but I'm just shouting you out either way. That was back on the 24th. Uh, Tutti Fruity Women to be featured in the NFT NYC 2024. Huge, big, big shots out to you. Uh, congratulations. I'm so freaking excited, uh, that that good word, uh, is making its way to NYC there. And then, uh, Crypto Cream, which was actually probably ask her about uh but she did rep uh dream at the uh mars swap uh, space uh in regards to their partnership there so big shouts out to crypto queen coach george um she co op uh this is really cool i thought the team went out and found uh his nft that he originally made which was a better drawing than me i i am 
so in love with that highlight, orange, whatever's going on. I just feel like if if I cut off the light, it's going to go in the dark with that chicken. But it looks really cool to me. I can't front. Um, but I, I love the F nonetheless. But, uh, yeah, the team guiding back is uh, one with somebody listed on the market, and uh, I just thought that was a beautiful uh, story. Uh, TF, uh, speaking of Coach George, uh, Tutti Fruity Women did uh, gift a fairy – uh, the coach, because uh, he did dedicate his Tutti Frutti uh, to a to a person that had passed because of the cancer. And, um, yeah, uh, it's a person that's been affected um, even even this year uh, by cancer and the, and the devastating um, things that it can cause within families and, and that kind of thing. I can wholeheartedly uh, feel this one here, too. So uh, also big shout out to them. I just thought that was noted. Uh, I'm going to post this one up. I'm not sure if Crypto Queen caught it, but uh, big shouts out to Edward Solomons, a.k.a. Ed. Uh, his nature uh, photography shots, man, of the city. He's, he showed me a few, and he just he catches foxes. He's up in Canada. It's just always beautiful scenery, you know, that kind of thing. So not only shouts out to Ed, but everybody out there um, sh showing off their, their nature photography and, and touching grass and that kind of thing. I love to see it. I often wonder if I should just turn into a nature account. But if it wasn't for crypto, I probably would have already. Might still do one. We'll see. But um yeah, uh SheArmy.co also uh gets business verified gold check. Big shouts out to Calvin J for finding that one. I just happened to come across it. Congratulations there uh on getting the gold check too. So that's about it with my community shout outs also news of the week. Uh I think this time we will move back over to Crypto Queen. Uh, what are your thoughts this week on the news or the info? Uh oh, Crypto Queen, are you there? Am I there? Sorry. Am I still here? Um, <laughs> mute mute uh, issues tonight, it looks like. No, I was just saying there's so many things that are uh, exciting to talk about tonight, but a few things that stood out to me were the bad, I bad idea AI chatbot system. This was super cool. It's an article by Mr. Lightspeed who's the dev, um, he said he's excited to unveil a cutting edge venture in AI communications, the bad idea AI chatbot on Telegram, and then he in, in a parenthesis, Discord coming soon, so not quite ready yet, but the Telegram bot will be launching on Monday, the 27th of November, and it just talks about what the, the context aware technology is, that it, it offers deep engagement in discussions, especially those around the SHIB paper enhancing conversations with its analytical prowess. And then it, it talks about how um, it gets to know the user and the um, engagements are relevant and timely, adding a new dimension to the digital dialogues. And the foundational pillars of the system are enhanced memory capabilities. So um, like I said, it en enables the bot to remember past interactions. It has robust knowledge base. It has intuitive user engagement. So in addition to greeting users in a variety of friendly manners, the bot is engineered to consider the context of past discussions with individual Telegram users. How cool is that? And then um, in security, it strips personally identifiable information before in any data is processed so that um, it keeps everybody uh, info confidential. It sanitizes the text to remove any potentially harmful or sensitive co content. Um, includes filtering out inappropriate language, attempts to scam others, and any content that could pose a risk to user privacy or security. So I thought that was cool. And then they, they wanted to encourage everybody to join in on testing the beta version of the chatbot system. Said your insights are invaluable to our full-scale launch. And then just some contact information here. This um, article is posted in the net if you need this, but it, it gives the website information, Bad Idea AI. Twitter, it's at Bad Idea AI. They have a Telegram group, a Discord, and a Facebook page. So make sure you follow along. That's exciting news. Um, <clears throat> and then a cool channel on Discord for news. They've added um, Shib.io uh, Shib as uh, a space for lively debates about content and sharing interesting tweets. Screenshots only, no links. So keep an eye on that. Um, it says your contributions might be featured in future editions. So I've been enjoying those articles that have been coming out weekly and interested to see what the next one is. Um, let's see. Also, the, the Mars swap uh, news about listing um, or the leash bone pair 
was pretty cool to me. Um, Mars Wap has been making a lot of waves recently and, and doing new things and partnering. I think they had three partnership announcements last week, including Ship Dream, which was really cool. Um, <clears throat> it says the development comes over a week after Marswap integrated an on and off ramp feature that allows its users to buy and sell bone using traditional payment methods like bank card and PayPal. As reported earlier, Marswap CEO demonstrated the new capability in a live broadcast by purchasing bone on Dex, on the Dex, and using his credit card while selling the token back to Fiat. And um, <clears throat> it says uh, this announcement of the leash and bone pairs. Uh, uh, just another way to expand its support for the Shiba um, ecosystem tokens. And also, um, as far as burns, Marswap is, the, I think, the um, biggest burner um, for one project. They've burned 4.5 billion SHIB, worth 36,360 at the time of this um, article. And then uh, they're also ranked as the leading DEX on Shibarian. They account for 347,000 out of the 676,000 total value locked on Shibarium. So about half of that, over half, it looks like. So those are the ones I wanted to highlight first, and I'll pass it on to Calvin and then uh, could cover a few more when we come back. Beautiful. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Go ahead, Kevin. No, you're good. Uh, I just want to make sure that you can hear me. Yep, we can hear you. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, I did get kicked out of the space and I had to switch devices. Um, nonetheless, here we are. <sighs> so many things are transpiring in the ecosystem within the community. It's hard to keep up these days. But um, I would second that motion alongside Crypto Queen. Um, Marswap is doing their thing. And eager to see more adoption to towards the on and off ramp. Uh, I know many individuals aspire to have, per, uh, you know, purchasing their digital assets um, be a simple one, two, three step process. And as far as uh, bridging, swapping, uh, monitoring gas fees, exchanging your Ethereum, it can be a tad bit complicated, tedious, um, even frustrating for some. Ultimately, we have the capability uh, to utilize uh, our debit and credit cards. Maybe not for every single aspect of blockchain, but the more the merrier and Ultimately, the, like they say, build it and they will come. And if they build the on off ramp, I'm pretty sure as credible and notable as Marswap has been in this space, um, not only as a top burner, but, you know, they have definitely shown their love for the community and have hosted Shibarium spaces to host, you know, host, uh, other projects seeking to build and being, you know, uh, the bridge to say the least, bringing people together and everybody could definitely find out whatever it is they want to find out. Uh, hop into Telegram, ask questions, hop into DM, ask, ask questions. They're very transparent. Um, me personally, I want to speak on, um, I want us to speak on our Welly friends. And we know that there's many things building within the what the Welly's restaurant. <laughs> now, ultimately, what we will be indulging in is what we will what we will be indulging in is organic food, ultimately. Like, yes. It's one thing to push the Shibison mindset and we all, you know, use our SHIB tokens or our bone tokens buying our daily food. 
or are maybe not daily, but if you indulge in your fast food franchises, this would be a healthier option. Um, again, we don't speak too much on world news on Sundays, but in Italy, there will be no uh, lab-grown meat uh, available for purchase. And, uh, you know, being in the States, being in the U.S., it is something to look into. But I would just simply say, you know, given that Wellies based in Italy, indulging in, you know, organic food is something that I would like to hear. Um, people could question, you know, what's the purpose of this? What's the purpose of that? Um, there's many aspects of shit, rather if it's the food or the soap. <laughs> In all seriousness, it's really about things being just a better option for not only us as blockchain enthusiasts, but for everyone amongst us. And uh, yeah, eager to see more from Welly Friends. And if anything else, uh, Before we go t deeper into additional news, I would say, as far as the community goes, we are definitely holding the line. Um, Bender spoke on uh, a particular hack, and it was a lot of ship. I will say, there's this is not the first hack. That might have been a lot of ship. And I, I, I know, I wish I had that shit, right? But ultimately, regardless of uh, price fluctuations, it's still not at zero. <laughs> like, I'm just, I'm just saying, still not at zero. If anything, short, short dips in the market are short periods of, uh, you know, I guess, opportunity for some, maybe... Uh, a tad bit disheartening for some if they have a extensive bag and again we're not talking price action but uh, a, someone's small dip might be a bigger hit financially for someone else in a whale position but these periods of a dip are short lived to say the least and again, we still move onward and upward. Um, we, the community, again, have adopted the token that is shared to the point that, you know, it's regardless of how much might be acquired abruptly by a manipulator, we still do have the potential to still hold the line and be secure in our asset. So with that being said, we can continue forward with additional shared news. Appreciate you.